Sometimes you want to be able to find programs much more easier than having to go through the start menu and search through or even having to type because, hey, yeah, sometimes there's lots of programs that we open quite frequently. I'm going to show you a few different ways how you can make programs a lot easier to find. One technique is to take the program when it's open and to come down here onto the icon, use the right mouse button to bring up this menu and pick pin to taskbar. Take a look at this. If we take a number or take some calculations and we close up this application, you'll notice down here that the icon still appears you might think that, hey, I've just minimized, but in reality, when I click down here, you'll see that I got a new version of the calculator. So what this is, we have taken what used to be over in the start menu, and we said, I want to keep it down here so that it's quick and easy for me to open up whenever I want to. This is called pinning to the taskbar. Okay, let's do it again using Notepad. Let me go down here and, oh, well, of course, I'm just going to type the word notepad and we'll start it up. Sorry, my Mac window keeps popping up behind. I'm going to pin this to the taskbar. So here we go. And now I've got both the calculator and notepad pinned to the taskbar. So it's very easy to find. Uh, but, you know, it's like a lot of other things. If we have too many items sitting here in this taskbar, I mean, how many spaces are we going to get? Maybe after about 10 or 15 programs, this is going to become kind of unpleasant. To get rid of it is very simple. You right-click on, right on the icon and you say, on pin from taskbar, and it simply goes away. So here, oh, I've clicked on it with the wrong button in pin from taskbar. An alternative to pinning something to the taskbar is to bring it over to this area here, which is known as the tile area. And to do this is quite simple. You use your mouse and you click and drag and you put something over here. What I've done now is I've now pinned the calculator to this area. Now it's in one spot. And this can become quite useful because if we take something like the Windows Accessories and Notepad, I can also put it, say, up here. All right, and now without having to go and search for anything, I've got my two tiles. So it still starts exactly the same way. It's just in a slightly more convenient location. If you don't like these items here and you say, hey, I want to get rid of them, it's the same idea as getting rid from the taskbar. You right click on the item and you say unpin from start. Okay, so again, we'll do it for the calculator, unpin from start, and it goes away. A third way that I'm going to show you is you can put actual programs here on the desktop. In order to put a program on the desktop, what you do is you open up the start menu, you find the application you want, and you simply drag it and drop it onto the desktop. And by doing this, now when you double click on this program, it's the same thing as uh, starting it from somewhere else. When you're finished with this icon, if you say, okay, well, I want to clean up my desktop and get rid of it, uh, the usual way how to clean up these icons on your desktop, and by the way, this is called a shortcut, is to take it and to drag it into the recycle bin. Okay, and that will get rid of it. 